Hello, my name is Shalanda Chaudhary and in this video I'll show how to set up multi-site hosting in Application Gateway. So let's start with the explanation of what is multi-site hosting. It's a feature that enables a single Azure Application Gateway to host multiple websites or web applications, each with its own domain name. So that means you don't need a separate application gateway for different domains which you are hosting in your environment. And the benefit of using multi-site hosting is the easy management of resources as well as simplified way of setting up SSL or TLS termination. In my experience, I have seen that most of the organizations keep one application gateway for different environment like prod, non-prod and test. So that means in the prod environment, there will be a single application gateway which will host all the web applications in the prod environment. And the reason for keeping the separate application gateway for each environment is because you don't want to make changes in the production application gateway because of the frequent changes you are doing in the test environment. And apart from this, you can also set up path based as well as the host based routing for multi-site hosting in application gateway. In this lab, I'm using two different domains, devsecopstech.online and shalinda.online. I have registered these two domains in GoDaddy and I'll be using them as a DNS zone in Azure. There are two web servers which are created for this lab. One web server will cater the traffic for devsecopstech.online and the another web server will cater the traffic for shalinda.online. Both of these web servers will be placed in a separate backend pool and using the routing rule in the application gateway, all the traffic for these two different websites will go to their respective backend pool. I have pre-created few resources. Let's go to the virtual machine. And there are two virtual machines which are created. One for devsecopstech.online and another one for shalinda.online. So both of these virtual machines are Windows 2019 servers and IaaS feature is enabled on them. And a default web page is created which shows the name of the server. And if we'll go to the DNS zones, there are two different DNS zones which are created. devsecopstech.online and shalinda.online. Right now, there is no alias record which is created, which will create after the creation of application gateway. So let's create one application gateway. Create. We'll select the resource group RG Dev application gateway. It's already created where the virtual machines are lying. Let's name this application gateway as AGW Dev 01. The region will be Australia East and we are using the version 2. Let's not enable the auto scaling and we just want instance count as 1. And for the virtual network, there is one virtual network where all the virtual machines are also lying. An application gateway as you know requires an empty subnet. So an application gateway subnet is also created for it. Let's go to the front ends, create a new front end IP. AGW public IP. Okay. Let's go to the backend. Let's create two backend pools. Let's name the first one as backend dev sec ops tech. For the target type, it will be a virtual machine which is already created. And here is the NIC card for that virtual machine. Add create another backend pool backend pool shell in virtual machine and this time it will be the nick card for the shell in the virtual machine and now two backend pools are created let's create the routing rules now start with the routing rule for dev sec ops tech pool the priority is 10. Let's copy the name. Listener. For this lab, I'll be using only HTTP protocol. And if you want to understand about the TLS termination and want to use the HTTPS protocol, I have provided a link of TLS termination in the description of this video. The listener type will be multi-site. And I'll select single dev sec ops tech dot online. In the case of the multiple or the wildcard, you can provide the star if you have multiple host names like images.devsecopstack.online or videos.devsecopstack.online. 
So in that case, you can use the wildcard. But we have a single website with a default page. So I'll be using the single. Let's select the backend targets, select the pool and create a new backend setting. There, sec ops tech setting and add. Let's create another routing rule. Shell in the dot rule. Priority is 11. Listener in the slash listener. It's for the same fronted IP. We'll be using the HTTP protocol and multi site. Shell in the dot online. For the backend target, this time we'll select the another backend pool. Backend pool shell in the. And you can use the same backend setting or create a new one. Let's create a new one. Shell in the setting. Add and add. Now for the same front end IP, we have created two different routing rules with two different backend pools. Next, review and create. And let's create. This will take around five minutes to create application gateway and configure it. I'll pause the video and we'll be back once it's done. Application gateway is created now. Let's check. Go to the resource group. Application gateway. This is the public IP of application gateway. This is the application gateway. If we'll check the backend pools. There are two backend pools. Backend setting. There should be two different backend settings. We can use one also in this case. But because we are creating everything separate for two different websites, so we created these two different settings. Front end IP, there is only one public front end IP for the application gate. So if we'll check the listeners, there are two listeners which are listening on port 80. And if we'll check the rules, there are two different rules created for it. So now to use the website, we have to create the alias record in the DNS zone for both the website against the public IP of application gateway. So let's copy the public IP first and go to DNS zones. Let's make changes to devsecops tech.online. Provide the public IP and OK. Oh, sorry, there is a space. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing with shalanda.online to create a new record set. Provide the IP. And OK. Now let's check those websites in the browser. DevSecOpsTech.online. And here you go, the web page for DevSecOpsTech. And this is coming from the web server DevSecOpsTech. Now let's check another one, Shalender.online. And now this is also showing the web page from the web server Shalanda. To summarize this video, using the multi-site hosting, multiple domains or the multiple website can be hosted using a single application gateway. Both of these websites will have different listeners, different routing rules and the different backend. And you can set up the TLS termination, set up path-based routing or the host-based routing. So that means a single application gateway can be used to host all the websites in your environment. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.